News in the world of Valheim, let's go. Ashlands is coming. So let's get ready to dive in. Look at this. So much to look at. Okay, so first things first. Iron Gate made an announcement this morning and set a premiere up on YouTube for the Ashlands gameplay trailer. It will be debuting on Monday morning for me, 6 a.m. Central Time, 1 p.m. CEST, 4 a.m. PDT. Obviously, the first thing we're gonna do is take a closer look at this picture, and then I'm gonna get to all of the things that are hidden in that video that I just showed a second of. So first things first, no, this is not the boat that we currently have in game. The head is much ornate. I know that this is just art, but I'm telling you, this is a different boat. They have learned not to put things out in their trailers that are not going to be in the game. Remember the big black door from the trailer before and then they suddenly had to go and make a big black door? This new boat is going to be in the game. Also, I distinctly remember in one of my Playing with a Dev episodes with Grimcore, him talking about us eventually that we're going to need a bigger boat. And one of the things he mentioned, let me just zoom in on this. Well, one of the things that we talked about was being able to transport locks in your boat. Look at that right there. Look at that locks compared to the size of this boat. That's a trained locks with the harness on, fitting crossways on this boat with people able to stand around it. That's a new boat, a big one. And then also look at the material that this boat is made out of. That's not the same material as our current boat. Let me see if I can find a picture of our current boat. Okay, this is the current boat that we have. Not the same material, not the same head mass, not even close. Call me crazy if you want, but this material right here looks like it is made from the same thing that we're currently making the tarred roof from. Some people have said serpent scales. I don't think so. It's not the same color. This looks exactly like the tarred roof tiles. So that means it's time to go tar hunting, my friends. Stock that stuff up. It looks like the people in the boat are all wearing armor and have weapons from the levels that we've gotten so far, which would make sense because they're sailing to the Ashlands. They don't have the new stuff yet. So let's look at somebody that is in the Ashlands. Programmer Jonathan Smars gave us this little sneak peek this morning. Yep, we're going to be doing a lot of dying. Let's go in and look at this closer. Here we are in the Ashlands, obviously inside of one of the fortresses, the ruins, and we're gonna be looking at the catapult. He's wearing one of the armors that we get in the Ashlands. Then he starts to turn around, but before he starts to turn around, look up here at the top. There's something flying up here. I think that's one of the birds that they've given us a little preview of. It looks like it's dive bombing or something though. Or maybe it got hit by a meteor. Why is it going straight down? I don't know. Okay, so he turns around and he walks toward the catapult, right? When he first gets there, it says place item one through eight. And then he's gonna put something in it. But right when he puts something in it, he's kind of stands on the launching part instead of standing to the side. And so when he gets closer to the launching part, there's a separate thing here that says catapult use. Maybe that cause is because something's already in there. No, it's two different parts because when he's pointing at where you put something in, that's where it says place item. It's when he's looking at the body of the catapult is when it says use. But you can see once he starts flying, he's actually putting a bow in there. So he placed the item and he used and here he goes. See right there? Look at that. That's a bow that he placed on the catapult. Look how big that thing is. That is huge. So they both went flying and obviously he flies quite a ways. And then he kind of continues soaring down. And notice he is not wearing the feather cape here. This is just how far the catapult sent him flying. There have been some comments made on his Twitter post about what if you are wearing a feather cape? And he says, oh, you will love it. So we could get a soft landing, but if you're still landing in lava, I don't think that feather cape is gonna help you much. <laughs> So what else does he fly by? Up here on the left, at first I thought this was just smoke or ash, but I don't think so. I think that this is a Valkyrie. 
right here because look, it's totally moving like a Valkyrie. And some of the last animations and images we have seen of the Valkyrie, it has that kind of effect around it overall. It kind of looks like it blends in a little bit. I wonder if that's gonna make them hard to see. They blend in with the environment so much. Especially during a meteor shower, you better keep your eyes peeled for those things. Have a look out. We can see kind of what looks like some kind of maybe vegetation up here on the cliff. I think that might be tracking with some of these concepts of the taller ones that we've seen so far. As he starts going down, we have a little something over here on the right. It's kind of hard to tell what that is. And over on the left, something comes into view too, which is really blurry, but at the end, it kind of gets a little bit more clear. It's like a stone structure with almost like a fiery circle looking thing on it. I think that's probably a twitcher spawner. That's where these friends are gonna come out and play. But look. Our grave floats on top of the lava. That's convenient. <laughs> Remember that Valheim is a brutal exploration and survival game. Ashlands is going to be hard. And you've got to be able to get there first. Remember that the world is changing and there will be no land masses connecting to any of Ashlands anymore. You're going to have to get there by boat. So the trailer is hitting us on Monday. What does that mean? It means that we're gonna get to see a lot of spoilers about Ashlands. This means that we're a step closer to Ashlands update going into the public test branch. It's not gonna be out for everybody. It's going to the public test branch. If you wanna join the public test branch to be able to play on Monday, you can get instructions on that through their Discord server. And I think I'll probably put a quick little video out about how to do that too and just show you real quick. Oh, uh, one more thing I wanted to mention real quick. Remember they gave us this little teaser of this wreath item and they said that it has another purpose as well, but we didn't know what that purpose was. And then we got the information that houses can catch on fire in the Ashlands. At least wood can. I'm thinking that this thing from the sea, it's obviously the head of one of those sea monsters, can provide some kind of protection for you, for your build in the Ashlands so that when those meteor showers hit, maybe we'll have like a magical bubble over us like Haldor does so that they don't completely destroy our base or set it on fire. If it's made out of wood, if you're brave enough to build with wood in the Ashlands, but would it give us protection from the onslaught of other enemies as well? Hmm. So the thumb says we're getting the gameplay trailer on Monday. If I was a betting woman and I had $1 to bet, I would bet 99 cents that Ashlands is hitting public test on Monday. That's what I think is going to happen. I think they're gonna release the trailer and they're gonna release the game to public test at the same time. How long will it be in public test? Depends on how it goes as always. But to keep updated on everything, make sure to subscribe, like if this was useful. Until next time, happy gaming.